Welcome to Messages for the Signs for the week of September 20th. I am Tammy Toshnik, and this video is for Capricorn. Now, what do your guys want you to know for this week, Capricorn? And I'm using nine cards for these guidances, guidances this week. You're noticing something different here, Capricorn. So Capricorn, interesting, you've got building blocks between worlds and time to go in reverse position. I typically don't pull reverse position cards, so this is interesting to me. Um, it does not mean something negative or bad or even the opposite of what the card would be had it been in its uh, regular position, let's just say. So I'm going to just take a second here and lean into this and listen to, to hear what I, I need to hear for you. This is interesting. Not a message I would typically give Capricorn, but it normally when I see between worlds, it tells me that you are in the middle of creating something. You're in the midst of moving through a transition. Usually when we're in the middle of something, that's typically the hardest part because we have gone too far to go back and we're not far enough ahead to see you know where we're going or the fruits of our labor what's going to come from it and we get very uncomfortable in that position building boss comes up to remind you that anything you've built thus far will stand the test of time if it's built in authenticity and this is interesting this is where I want to diverge from what I would normally say here Are you resisting? Oh, no, hold on, getting a clearer message. It isn't time for you to quit. This is what the message is. Now, had time to go been in its original position, this would tell me that something was ending and that even if you were in the middle of it, it was time to go, but the, otherwise, now with it in reverse position, it's changing the whole, the whole story, Capricorn. Get my words out here. This is actually telling me that you are to keep going, that even though it feels like nothing's moving or, again, you're stuck in that middle place, or something's not growing the way you thought, it isn't time to quit. You, you must continue, Capricorn. Let's get some more clarification here. Bone collector, dragon's lair, dry desert. Yes, this is all speaking to utter conditions. I feel like maybe you're paying too much attention to the outside world, maybe the advice of other people. Um, I feel like as well that you're getting to a place where you normally would quit Capricorn and this is saying now is not the time to quit things are happening even if they don't feel like it dry desert we think of a desert as with nothing happening right but if you've ever been to the desert you know it's teeming with life teeming with possibility but we won't always see it especially if we're paying attention to outside conditions dragon's lair means you are faced with a challenge so this is an awareness card so it isn't that you're making this up or you are sort of making a mountain out of a molehill capricorn there is something here to be aware of but 
this is the, the, the part of the story where you get to rewrite the ending. So like I said, I have a feeling normally when this happens, you would quit, change direction or do something different because it, maybe it's not happening quickly enough or again, you're, you're facing obstacles. But that's the past you Capricorn. Aren't you different right now? Aren't we all different now? And so we can respond in a new way. Bone collector reminding you that nothing is ever truly lost. So this is with building blocks too. So whatever you've done thus far, you're not losing out. You haven't lost anything. It's all still there. Very interesting here. This feels like a bit of an emotional response, a knee-jerk response, perhaps Capricorn. So reminding you, do something differently this time around. <laughs> and then obstacles and challenges, exactly what I just said. Passion ignited and emotional loss. So mm -hmm, you are facing a challenge. There's no doubt about it. Again, I'm, I don't feel like you're making this up or, or, or um, sort of just taking the easy way out or something like that. You are facing a challenge here. But what do we do with challenge? We can, again, respond in a different way. We can become an observer and look for the details that perhaps we're missing. We can work with the energies of a situation. We can have conversations. We can lean into our own intuition. Um, so this is interesting. So I wanna give two scenarios here. So there's the one that I just spoke about, but there's another scenario where you something has been lost so bone collector and emotional loss speak to the same thing it's about loss i i think i just said that if i can remember that that nothing is ever truly lost so i think you're questioning yourself right now capricorn you're doubting yourself again not just because something has happened here there's been a challenge and it's triggered something it's made you feel like oh this is this is what always happens um, and because you're in between worlds, again, in that middle space, you can't see ahead, you're not trusting. You're not trusting where you're going and you've got passion ignited in amongst this challenge here. And that tells me that you are to keep going. Let's see what else we can see. Very interesting. And the dragon's lair is covered in snow and ice and then you've got the dry desert. The bone collector looks like she's sitting in the desert. So that's what it feels like, like nothing is moving, nothing is growing. Perhaps some of you have something to do with the desert. You were planning on going to the desert perhaps and that's not looking like it's working out. That could be for some of you. I'm actually going to read from the book for the reversal because I think that will give us a little more information. 45. Oh. Even if it appears that you've reached the end of the line and all is lost, it isn't. You're in a situation that will resurface again later. So consider this a break rather than an ending. Destiny is in charge here. You lose nothing and gain everything when you surrender to that fact. Your soul knows that your destiny is unfolding with perfect timing and synchronicity. Your small self has doubts, but that is natural as it doesn't have the map of your destiny. The soul does. Spirit loves you. Trust that. Mm -hmm. So that's just validating everything I just said here. It doesn't feel like it's time to quit. It just feels like you're getting caught up in, again, challenges or obstacles, bringing past losses into current situation and questioning everything. So what do we do? Well, then we have to sit down and give ourselves a stern talking to and really see what is going on here. And um, yeah, because it doesn't feel like to me that you need to quit. It doesn't feel like you need to change direction. This isn't a directional reading to me this is just saying validating that yes there's some obstacles here but 
I don't know if you're afraid of losing something or something already has been lost and so you're trying to stem that tide. You don't want anything else to leave. So very interesting Capricorn. It's just saying though, it isn't time to quit and, and bring some trust back in to what you're dealing with here. I hope that helps you, very interesting. And then if you want an extra message, you can pull a card. So one, two, or three. You chose one, you've got moonlight, which is about seeing through the darkness. We're, we're undergoing, we're undergoing, we're under a full moon tonight. So this is the time to manifest. Uh, full moon brings in that power of bringing to the earth that which is in the field that we're trying to create to see this also speaks to trusting your own intuition, seeing through the darkness. And that's what I brought up as well with the regular reading that you just had. You have to see beyond what's right in front of you. And then if you chose two stuck in the mud, that feeling like nothing is moving. So again, in between worlds, very much that similar energy that everything is just sort of stagnant, not growing like in the desert. And this is, though, because you're not seeing something. So there definitely is a piece here that you're not seeing. It could be about yourself. You're not seeing how you are reacting to the situation rather than responding. The universe usually presses pause when we need that time to, whether it's to rest or relax or to allow a spark of creativity to flow to the surface. Or again, because we're not seeing something, the moon is in this card as well. So this tells me you need illumination and a full moon is perfect time for that. And then you have card three, or sorry, if you chose three, you've got unexpected visitors. So exp un <laughs> expect the unexpected. So this could be that someone's going to uh, help you with this Capricorn or show up and give you some words of encouragement. This is also about going with the flow and it does feel like you're trying to follow this path and it's not working so you're getting disappointed or discouraged and in life we must expect the unexpected there's always wrenches being thrown into our plans whether we like it or not and usually there's a reason behind it sometimes we won't know though what that is sometimes we will and so if you chose card three expect the unexpected an old friend might show up and again with mercury retrograde just around the corner um, this is what tends to happen. People that we haven't talked to in a while or uh, seen in a while tend to pop up. So I hope that helps you Capricorn and I hope to see you here next week. Take care.